Hey Taurus, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, this is Dane, and I'm going to be doing your July 21st to the 31st, 2018 reading for you. Now I've shuffled, there we go, and meditated upon the cards. So we're going to see what these 11 days have in store for you, Taurus, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. Make sure you can see everything okay. There you guys are. Well, that's beautiful. All right. Well, this is a lovely reading, guys. Okay, give me a moment to take it all in. All right, Taurus, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, you are starting to understand that you need the scales balanced in your life. This is my Minor Arcana Justice card. And this is coming to the realization that other people can't just keep taking and taking and taking. If you can see that, ooh, there's a glare. Okay. You can see those scales right there. That others can't just keep taking and taking and taking and not keeping your scales balanced, keeping things even. Because you're going to give and you're going to give and you're going to give until you just can't give anymore and then that's going to bring a sense of frustration in you and that's going to unbalance your personal scales within your soul even more so harmony within yourself here on this earthly plane the pentacles represent the earthly plane they also represent you Taurus, Sun, Moon or Ascendant because you are an earth sign and that is represented by the pentacles so you not only need to take, keep this balance in your interactions with other people, making sure that you're not giving more than you're receiving from life, and keeping the balance within yourself. Make sure that your soul is staying balanced. Make sure that you're giving enough time to yourself to really be prosperous, to be happy, to do what it is that you want to do. Also in finances, because this is a general reading and there are many different ways to read the cards, you want to make sure that things are fair within your work, within your life. If you are buying or selling anything, make sure you're paying attention to the details of the contract. Make sure that you are paying attention to what other prices, what other things are going for so that you're not being kind of robbed. Yeah, just make sure that your scales are staying balanced, especially in these 11 days. It's going to be very important for you. It's going to make you feel better too, to sit there and be treated fairly, taken seriously for what it is that you do and who it is that you are. The King of Wands, Passion and Creativity. Now this could be a fire sign, an Aries, a Leo, a Sagittarius, but this is also you embracing the aspect of the King of Wands, moving forward in passion, moving forward in the absolute assurity of yourself. Atypical masculine energy, Okay, and I say this meaning just what we think of when we think of masculine energy. It doesn't have to be a man or a woman. It just has to be somebody and you just have to embrace this energy of, of course I can achieve. I'm going to do exactly what I need to do in order to get what I'm most passionate about, what I most desire here on this earthly plane. Not through any sort of under underhanded means, through a loving, caring place but sitting there really making sure that you know that you matter to our sun, moon, or ascendant in whatever it is that you do. That's the message the cards are really saying here. I'm wanting you to know that you matter and that what you're passionate about, what you desire has validity and is going to be achieved. It might take a little bit of time, but don't lose faith in you. Stay grounded here on this earthly plane, which you are. Utorians are very grounded but there's going to be a sense of being frustrated. Don't let that frustration stop you from achieving. And here with the King of Wands, you're going to be achieving great things. You're going to be moving forward in a way where you absolutely know what you want, you absolutely know where you're going, and nothing's going to hold you back. You're going to be manifesting your heart's desire. As long as you don't 
give yourself away to everybody else and not think about you. Because we have the death card. We have the dying away of the old self, a rebirth of the new. There's going to be a change that happens here. Taurus, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. That's really going to make you feel as if, okay, I got this. I don't know what it is exactly. For each of you, it's going to be different because there's so many of you. But it is going to be something. It doesn't have to be big for every single one of you. It could be something small. But it's going to sit there. You're going to sit there and say, oh, okay. I get it now. I understand. I'm moving forward in a way that is, again, right for you, Taurus, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. It doesn't matter if it's right for everybody else. You are shining through right here in this Hierophant card. And you know what it is that you need for you. And you know what it is that you want. Even if you're unsure, just finding that balance within yourself is going to be paramount. Looking back at the spiritual plane, making sure that you're staying connected with the spiritual. You have a halo around you here, which I know you can't see, but there we are. A beautiful little halo, which is the only one that appears on the tarot cards. Blessing you, moving you forward. There's a transformation of self. You have to have faith in yourself in order for this to happen. Sit there and let, it's kind of like letting the waters wash you clean. And as it does, you're going to be able to move forward. See how these dogs are just stopped and they're looking back. These dogs are racing forward. You're going to be able to race forward, knowing with certainty your purpose. Whether it be a big purpose, whether it be a small purpose, it's going to be something that resonates true with your soul. And you're going to see your ship start coming in. Your ships start coming in and you're like, wow, I can't believe things are working in my favor. I can't believe things are moving forward the way that I desired them. I can't believe that everything is starting to work out rightly and justly for me. And, it, and it's as if, again, a weight is just being lifted off. The scales are being balanced. And you are sitting there and embracing your passions, your desires, instead of putting everybody else first Taurus, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. It's time to sit there and really look at what you want. And you might think that this is a little bit selfish. It's not. You've worked hard. You're having this transformation of self. You're having this rebirth of self. And you're learning that yourself really matters. And as you're taking the time for you, as you're taking the time to really work on what it is that you want, what it is that you want to manifest in this earthly plane, you start to manifest it because you're changing your whole mindset. And you might have worries and fears, and they might keep you up at night. You might sit there and be like, oh my gosh, I can't possibly, this is all just nonsense. But this right here, this woman on horseback, moving forward is echoing the Six of Wands, moving forward in victory, in joy, in peace, in bounty, here on this earthly plane, in your mind, you're going to have moments when you're like, oh my gosh, no, absolutely no. I can't possibly, it's not going to happen. I can't believe this. You are up late at night worrying. You're not feeling rested if you're sleeping, tossing and turning, doubting and fearing. Stop it. It's easier said than done to stop the doubts and stop the fears, but don't let things explode in your mind into something bigger than they actually are because the mind is so powerful and it's going to have a desire, especially in these 11 days, to want to trick you, to make you think that you're not doing enough. You have to just give more and more and more till finally you get the rec recognition that you deserve or the, the, I don't know what it is here, but the something, the feeling even inside that you've done enough and finally you can start taking time for yourself. But if you do go down the spiral of worry and fear and doubt and worry and fear and doubt, you're not going, it's going to be harder to pull yourself up. And what this card is saying is that you can climb out of your doubts and fears by climbing up this ladder and moving forward. And that's exactly what you're going to do, Taurus, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. You're going to stop the doubts, stop the fears. Well, maybe not stop them completely. They might be echoing in the back of your head, but they're not going to be what propels you forward. Yeah, definitely embracing this fire energy, this desire, this passion, this absolute sense of entitlement for you to be prosperous and happy and to embrace this rebirth of soul and self, to move forward in bounty and prosperity. 
and not have doubts and fears over, overwhelm this sense of, yes, I can, because you can. Don't think that taking time for yourself is selfish, Taurus Sun Moon or Ascendant. You need to. You need to take time for yourself, even if it's just an hour every day, to sit there and focus on what you want. Focus on what makes you happy. Whether it be doing something that you think other people would think was, was silly, or whether it is, you know, sitting there and doing the crossword puzzle. It doesn't matter. Embracing you and embracing what's right for you to embrace this bounty, this prosperity, this fire in your belly, to be able to have the life that you want and not the life that everybody else wants for you. Because you're right here. The Hierophant card is stability, tradition, grounded on this earthly plane, but also being the best that you can be. Here it's a bard, so know that your words matter. Watch what you say, because they're going to hold power to them. But you're moving forward, embracing your own personal powers, your own personal prowess, and not letting others hold you back. The bard is, equal, is higher than the king in Celtic mythology, because they have the power to make the tales that make a king look fantastic or horrible. In the Rhetorite Tower deck, there's a pope with supplicants at his feet. The pope ruled over kings in medieval times. So know that there is great power in you. And it doesn't mean that you're going to rise to the highest level of your field or the highest level of what it is that you want to do. It means that you're going to rise to the highest level for you. The highest level for your accomplishments, your goals, and your achievements. For some of you, that will be the highest level that you can possibly go. For others of you, it is going to be the level that makes you feel the best. Any higher, it would be too much. Any lower, it would be boring. Finding that perfect balance for you, moving forward, knowing the power of your words, knowing the power of your actions, and really, really embracing who it is that you are, and being passionate about yourself. Not cocky, not condescending, not, you know, oh, look at me, but just sitting there and saying, you know what? It's my time. Taurus Sun Moon Ascended, because it is your time. It's your time to be happy. Now, we have here the Six of Wands and the Hangman. This is moving forward in victory. This is getting what you desire here on this earthly plane, sitting there and just being absolutely overjoyed. And this victory, for a lot of you, Taurian, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, it has been long in coming. You have felt almost like you're stuck between two worlds, stuck between two ways of doing things. And you see the lions here? That is representing courage, representing a fire sign, representing moving forward in that courage and that confidence of self, which we have again echoed here with the Six of Wands, moving forward in courage and confidence, manifesting what you want here on this earthly realm. In this picture, this man right here is stuck between the fairy world and the earthly plane. He's able to have a perspective on life and on existence that most people never have. So it's changing his mind, and it's a painful experience because he's ripped from the world that he loves to a world that he doesn't understand. So now he has more insight, more understanding. It's a painful transformation. In the Rider Right Tarot deck, it is a man hanging upside down from a tree. He's, quite frankly, seeing the world from a different viewpoint because he is upside down. It's painful. You can just imagine the blood rushing to his head. Here, you can just imagine the pain of being in a limbo-like setting, holding on to a chandelier. And those ones, I think, that holds oils. I forget what they're called. And having that pain of having to hold on to something that isn't meant to be held on to. Having to see the world through a position you're not meant to be in. But this is gaining understanding. This is walking a mile in other people's shoes. This is living and growing and contemplating and existing in a way that is broadening your horizons or that has broadened your horizons. And now because of this experience, you're moving forward in victory. You're moving forward in bounty. You're moving forward in beauty. Give me a minute. Yeah. 
your doubts and fears come from there being a lack of harmony in your life right now, Taurus, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. Whatever it is, it could be something big, it could be something small, but there are doubts and fears that are happening because something in you is out of balance or people are just taking and taking from you without giving back and you feel like enough is enough. For some, it's a spiritual disharmony. For others, it's a worldly disharmony where people, you know, again, are just taking and expecting and not giving and not caring. Don't let this become your whole 11 days because it could easily, all right? It could easily become all that you want to focus on is being angry and upset and it's going to rob then a week, well, 11 days from you. But this insight and this knowing to balance yourself is actually going to lead to a transformation of self. To you having this transformation, this understanding, following the path that is right for you. Letting go of the person who feels as if they're not good enough, as if they're not doing enough. And embracing a person who sits there and has divine blessing, the universal blessing behind them, that halo, guiding them forward, looking back at the spiritual moving forward on the earthly plane. The three of wands is saying your ships are coming in. When they come in, don't say, oh no, I'm not worthy, or don't say, oh no, you can have this. Say thank you and take them for yourself because that's what you're doing. And that's what you should be doing, sitting there and saying thank you. I deserve this because you darn well deserve this. And embracing the power of the King of Wands. Again, this could be a Aries, a Leo, a Sagittarius coming into your life, but in this reading, it really feels as if, and the cards really seem to be saying, to move forward in passion and what is right for you. Don't sit there and think of giving it all away to everybody else. Sit there and say, this is what I want, this is where I'm going, and this is how I'm achieving it, because you're embracing yourself. Flaws and all, nobody's perfect. Nobody on earth is ever going to be perfect. We're here to learn and grow. And that's what you're doing. You're learning, you're growing, you're understanding. And because you're embracing that sense, that sense of joy and wonder within yourself, that fire in your belly for what it is that you want to create here on the earthly plane, even if you're not sure, just having that faith in yourself and not letting people take advantage of you and sitting there and saying, you know what, I'm worthy of bounty and beauty is going to start manifesting that bounty and beauty and actually believing it. Don't say, oh, I'm worthy of bounty and beauty and then, you know, apologize for asking for it and not really believe that you are. It takes guts and guts and gusto to sit there and say that you're worthy of all the joys and all the prosperity that life has to offer to you. And you absolutely are. And then as you accept it, as you take in the prosperity here on this earthly plane, you become more and more yourself more and more comfortable within your own shoes, within your own skin. Know the power of your words and watch yourself rise, even just spiritually, to the level that you want to be at. Becoming the best that you can possibly be, moving forward in prosperity because you have seen the world through different eyes and you have kept that courage and that confidence in yourself. All right, Taurus, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. Bye.